He is gone. He did what he could. And now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope he was able to forgive us. Me. For what we did to his brothers and sisters. His mother and father. Sinistrino 1 back at you with more Mitchell Last Light. Might be the final mission, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like this video for the ending, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it, and we'll get the best ending we can. Moskvin wasn't bullshitting this time. The Red Line's advancing on three sides. My brothers in arms, I am not a man for speeches, but here it is. You are the most dedicated, most courageous soldiers in the Metro. Each of you is worth five Reds. If you simply do the job you were trained to do, we'll win this battle. Sparta! To battle! Pasta! We've got the fallback! 
Ooh, that's talk about holy crap. Hey, no! We must start Cobot, preventing him from taking D6. If we fail all we've seen through after this war, all the hardships we braved surviving all those years, all the sacrifices, everything would have been in vain. Could it be that the spring that has finally melted the decade old ice on the surface, promising us a new hope of leaving the darkness of the underground and reaching out to the sun again, is also in vain? Could it happen that there won't be anyone left to welcome that spring? I can't believe this. Hope still lives while the auto holds D6. While even a single one of us still draws breath, and we will start Cobot at any cost. For our friends and families, for the whole of Metro, for the spring we've all been waiting for, for the future. Ahayam! You gotta reload, come on. Yeah! Gotcha. Oh, come on. That guy didn't make it. That guy didn't make it either. We'll keep this for now. Wonder how many sniper rifles you actually need. I don't want one of them, so I just want some heavy shit. What the hell are you doing? Oh, new note. Now I know. There were never any stores of food or medical supplies in D6 to speak of. Miller just didn't want to tell us that. He kept opening door after door hoping to find what he'd promised. Our chance for salvation. But all he found were containers with viruses. But bacteria, spores of death. The ancestors left us a vast stockpile of tabooed weapons and nothing more. And we opened Pandora's box. Corbett knew this. He never cared about food or other supplies. Hungry people are easier to control. They always want more. We opened Pandora's box and we're going to seal it back. Or die. All of us. All right, looks like that's the last note that we have collected. Holy shit. Like those headshots, huh? That reload is what sucks. I say it's on now. Holy crap. Get out of the way, dude. Come on. Some of these guys aren't very smart. We got a lot of kickbacks. Oh, 
I got all these weapons. Some fun. Great job. I want to have me some fun. Sparta. The facility is great for demolition. I gave the order back in Polis. Now that we have lost D6, our only option is to destroy it. Count us in, sir. What the hell? Nobody lives forever. The council? Ah, well. All are cleansed by the fires of revolution. What a pleasant surprise, Colonel Miller. Oh, what remains of you? Hortium, it is time. A woman is The resource for young men. Tell me, Arthur, savior of the metro. Where are you going? Artyom, no need for that now. Uman died, like most of the Spartans. Miller survived and is now in charge of police guards, even though he's confined to a wheelchair. And Khan just disappeared. He once told me, what if this little dark one is the last of the angels sent to save us? The fact that the little one came back and brought his kin, maybe that was the pardon and salvation for me, for the Order, for all of us in the Metro. The last light of hope in this kingdom of darkness. It will be better for everyone if we go away, Ardu. But one day we'll come back. I'll be big then. Goodbye, my friend. The Dark Ones are gone. But I know we will meet again. In Spaceballs 2, the search Maybe for more money. They really were sent to save us. Maybe we did earn forgiveness. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. What a game. What a freaking game. Loved it, loved it, loved it. We're going to go ahead and check out our achievements here while the credits are going on. 
Let's take a look at what we got. So we save the D6. Hold the platform without dying. Sweet. We must tell the truth with the help from the Dark One. Nice. Let's see what other achievements that uh, you can get. Kill 100 human enemies. We didn't kill really anyone. We didn't really kill, so we didn't get that one either. Finish the Ashes level without taking a hit. We didn't do that. We didn't find all of them. We found probably around 40 of them, I think. And maybe, I guess, somewhere along the line we missed one or two musical instruments. Disarm 10 traps, break 50 lights. So a lot of this stuff you can probably go back and do again. Fall in the swamp ten times. Oh, I wanted that one. Kill the game without killing any humans unless forced to. There was like one, one human that I had to kill. Um, he was sitting in the middle of a, on, on top of the train track, I don't know if you remember, when we were down in the tunnels, and uh, I threw a knife at him. That sucks. That's 70 points we could have had just for that one guy. Alright, so I'm not going to skip this. Uh, we're going to see if there's any, you know, um, what do you call it, any, uh, any video at the end. But this is the last time I'm going to talk. So I want to thank everybody for watching my Metro Last Light walkthrough. Um, I went through the whole game perfectly stealthy, did not set off any alarms or anything like that. And this game had a lot of good stealth in it. And I want to thank all of you guys. Did end up killing like one person um, that we could avoid. But, um, you know, oh well, I love this game. I thought it was a great game. Just uh, the amount of, of difficulty that I actually really, really like. Uh, the stealthy parts were a little bit easy, not too bad, a little lenient. But, um, you know, when you got facing the monsters, that's when it really kicked in because, man, they just keep coming at you. And it was great to have that kind of a balance between uh, the easier and a little bit difficult and kind of give you that challenge you want without making you frustrated dying over and over again. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next walkthrough. Peace out, bitches.